Mercury is a strange planet in our solar system. Mercury's surface is a barren, rocky environment. It's been hit by uh, rocks from space throughout its history, forming craters. Because there's no atmosphere, no plants, there's been no weathering of those craters, so they're very visible. You also see massive cliffs on Mercury, huge cliffs, many kilometers tall. And those cliffs were formed as Mercury shrank. We call them wrinkle ridges, as the surface wrinkled when the planet shrank. The environment of Mercury is much too extreme for any kind of life. The day side of Mercury is about 450 degrees, and the side facing away from the sun is at about minus 180 degrees. Two spacecraft going to Mercury, when they arrive they'll split apart and make measurements of Mercury's composition, its structure, its magnetic field, its atmosphere, and try to understand the evolution of the planet itself. And actually by focusing on things like craters, we might be able to understand what's underneath the surface of the planet. Mercury is really interesting from a number of different perspectives. My job is trying to understand the impact of the sun on the planets and focusing on the Earth because space weather can be very disruptive to our everyday life. But big space weather events don't happen very often at the Earth. If I look at Mercury, those big space weather events happen every day. So what I'm trying to do is understand the physics of what's happening at Mercury and apply that to the Earth to try to protect us If we want to understand how our solar system formed and evolved, then Mercury is a key part of that. Our current theories of solar system formation, including the Earth and the other planets, can't explain Mercury. It's an anomaly. So we need to go to Mercury and find out more information about the planet so we can really understand how our solar system formed.